Can we get into this V part wig though? She looks nice and freaking full and I was shocked but I was able to blend my hair with this V part wig as well. I at first was trying to go for a no leave out V part wig look but I don't know why I thought I could just put it on my head and it was just gonna blend. You have to do like some kind of crochet method or something like that if you wanna do a no leave out method. And I don't know where my crochet needle is. Like I'm in the middle of moving right now. So stuff is everywhere. So I just blended it with my natural hair and this wig install turned out super cute. I don't do V part wigs often, but I recently installed another V part wig. I'm kind of loving these curly V part wigs. I don't know if I would do like a straight or a body wave because that's a little bit harder to blend. I have to put a lot of heat on my hair, but the curlier textures, I'm here for it. So today's V part wig is from Amanda Hair and I want to thank them for sponsoring today's wig install for you guys. Today I'm going to show you how I installed this curly 250% density. Y'all see how big this hair is and I'm going to show you how I blended my natural hair with this wig and I didn't even have to wet down or use mousse on this hair. This is pretty much how the hair comes to you. I just combed the curls out. So this is a very simple wig install. If you would like to see how I did it, y'all know what to do. Definitely keep watching. Today we're going to be doing a V part wig install and I'm very excited because this is going to be the first time I'm doing it without any leave out. I've never done that before, but I already have my hair slicked back in a tight low bun in the back so yeah the hair is ready to go and today's wig is from amanda hair and the wig did come with freebies it came with an hd wig cap this elastic melting band and a pair of false lashes so here is the V part wig. It is a curly texture. It is 24 inches long and this has a 250% density. So it is very full y'all. And here is a close up of the V part. This is gonna be cut once we install the wig. So inside of the wig cap, it comes with four wig clips on each side. There's one wig comb in the middle here, two wig combs on each side. There's one wig comb in the back. And then there's this adjustable elastic band strap that has silicone gripping. So you can wrap this very nice and secure on your head and not have to worry about it moving. So let's go ahead and install this V part wig y'all. I'm first gonna remove this little piece of fabric on the front of the wig because we don't need it. Next, let's go ahead and throw this wig on. And then we're gonna clip on this front part. So I can see a track here. So I definitely don't wanna do the no leave out method. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and pull out some of my natural hair, just the slightest bit though, and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and pulled out some of my hair up top. I thought I could do no leave out because this V part wig is advertised as like no leave out. But for me, it just didn't look how I would want it to look. So we're gonna leave a little hair out. Now I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna blend this with my natural hair. So I'm not gonna wet down this hair. I wanna leave it kind of nice and big. So I'm just gonna take this wide tooth comb and just comb the hair out a bit to get it nice and full. hair is really pretty straight out of the box. So I want to take advantage of the curls that are already in this hair without having to wet it down. So 
I'm trying not to go through the ends because we don't want the hair to get frizzy. We just want the hair to look more full. Do y'all see this hair now? Wear this V part wig straight out the box because this is too cute. So we've got the leave out right here and I'm hoping that I can get this blended. I left out as little hair as possible up here, but I mean, I still have to blend my hair. If I had a small enough curling wand, I would probably just curling wand the top of my hair, but I'm going to just wet it down and see how it blends with this wig. So I'm gonna push a little bit of this hair to the back here. So that's gonna go in the back. And then I have this down the middle, which is double check that so it's straight, okay? So that's gonna go to that side. This is gonna go to this side. I'm going to wet this hair down. So I have water and Kinky Curly Not Today in the spray bottle. And we wanna wet it down until the hair starts reverting. So the hair has started to revert as you can see. I'm gonna take a little bit of mousse. This is the African Pride Moisture Miracle Rose Water Mousse. This stuff smells so good y'all. And I'm just gonna put this on my hair all the way from root to the ends. And then I'm gonna use my Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Flaxseed Gel. And this is just an elongating gel that I like to use on my hair to keep it stretched because otherwise it'll shrink up bad. So we're gonna put this all on the hair, focus it on the middle two ends because I'm gonna use another gel as well that I'm gonna focus on the roots. So on the roots of my hair, I'm gonna use the good old and faithful Eco Styler Gel. This is the olive oil one, y'all. And I'm going to focus this on the roots. You can bring it down the hair shaft a bit as well, but I like to put it on my roots because it keeps them very smooth. And I'm just using this edge brush to smooth down the hair. And then I'm gonna take small pieces and just blend it on top of the hair and smooth it out with my fingers. So that is what we're working with over there, y'all. I'm gonna do the same here in the back and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and did the blending on this part and this part of the hair. It looks pretty good. I am definitely not mad at this at all. I'm feeling cute AF, like I'm ready to go somewhere, y'all. Let me know what y'all think about this V part wig in the comment section down below. If you have 4A, 4B hair, I think you can get away with blending your natural hair with this wig or if you don't want to do any leave out you can definitely do the crochet method but I didn't have a crochet needle so I just opted to do this method. Y'all this V part wig freaking eats. Look at my hair it looks so good and this is definitely summer appropriate for sure. I know we're getting towards the end of summer it's about to be fall but yeah you could rock this baby for fall too. Probably wouldn't do it in winter. Curly hair is not really my vibe during the winter time but I mean, if it's your vibe, you could definitely do that too. If you're interested in checking out this wig from Amanda Hair, I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description box for you guys, as well as any coupon codes that they provide me with. I wanna thank y'all so much for your continued love and support. If you haven't already watched my latest video, I did a first impression review on the Gucci 24 hour luminous matte foundation, and I think it turned out super bomb, so be sure to go check out that video next to keep the party going.